So you just finished your awesome stylized hairstyle and now you're faced with the daunting task of separating these individual hair strands in order to get a proper bake in whatever baking program you're gonna use. I'm gonna show you a quick one click solution that will take all your worries away because you're not gonna rename every single one of these manually. The first thing you're gonna do is separate your low and high poly into individual hair strands. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that your low poly is underscore low and your high poly is underscore high. A quick way to do that is to go to either edit batch rename in Blender or uh, F2 and bring up the naming window. Now you can batch rename everything that's selected by whatever you wanna put in here, but make sure you have underscore low as a suffix. Now we're gonna do the same thing for our high poly, but we're gonna do a, a slightly different method here. So we're gonna bring up our naming window again and we'll call this here, we'll hit OK. It will name it with the correct number sequences. But for the top one here, what we're going to do is simply name this 000 because it will name it here by, by default. Now we select the here again, bring up the, the naming window again, batch rename. We go to the suffix and we put underscore high on this one. Now you have your properly named high resolution objects. Now here's the magic. Sometimes the algorithm will get it right and you will have like here 129 underscore high and then you underneath it, you will have here whatever underscore low. But sometimes it gets it wrong and we don't wanna select every single one of these 184 strands to go through to make sure it's right, like this one. 183 underscore high and if you select the low poly underneath, underscore low 182. Obviously that's incorrect and you don't have time to go through every single one of these to make sure they match up. So here is where the magic comes with the script that I created with the help of ChatGPT because I am not a coder, I am an artist, but I think logically. What I need you to do is load up this script. What it does is matches the closest bounding box between the high and low poly objects and then it names them accordingly. So select everything in the scene and all you have to do is hit play. And as you see, it renames the low poly on the scroll low with the proper naming convention of the high poly. And because you name your low poly on the scroll low, the high poly searches for the closest proximity low poly object and renames it in kind. So as you see here, if I select this, 171 on score high, 171 on score low. And it doesn't matter wherever it is, 002 on score high, 002 on score low. And we can go through this all day. One click solution and you have everything renamed and you do not have to do it manually. And all we need now to do is export the low and high poly to Substance Painter. Select all your low objects, file, export, FBX, and name it. Do the same thing for the high, here on the score high. Once in Substance Painter, all you have to do is hit F8, go into Bake Menu, in the common settings, make sure you put match by mesh name and load your hair high. It'll go through its matching. And as you can see here, everything is matched up and just bake. Once that is done, take a look at a nice clean bake of 183 objects just like that. I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, do all the normal YouTube stuff and let the algorithm do its thing. The link to the script is in the description and I'll see you next video.